All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to bring in some green screen footage to key it. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to start here. I'm going to go and create a folder called green screen or something like that. I'll just type green here so I get enough so we know. And I'm going to definitely change this to a color that I can easily identify. And I'm going to alt control space bar. Go get the uh, clip that I've downloaded. Now you could record your own green screen footage, which is what I'm going to get my students to do. So this is in. The first thing we want to do is go get the media player. So we'll get the media player. Make sure you click on this asset right here. Check that off. Very important. And, um, you know, I just realized I want to name this properly. So I'm going to press F2. I'm going to go one, my first clip. And I'm going to go um, again, F2, one clip okay you can't give it the same name but that's the footage that goes with that so make sure you name these properly when you bring them in but when i click on this i'll click on this so that it plays my player. okay that's what i want you need to press play so that it actually plays it and now i just realized i should probably press record save here right so i might have to come back in after so right now what I want to do is I'm going to create a plane and what I want to do is it's easiest if the plane is facing Y. So Y is your, your green one uh, because you won't have to flip it around or whatever. And now I'm going to click the, the E key. I'm going to just flip this 90 degrees so you can see the numbers 90. And I still have it selected so under the X coordinate I'm going to type 1.78 which is the, a 16 by 9 HDTV is that size. So you could make this um, larger too if you needed to. This plane by clicking the R key. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it that way. I just want to show you that you can do that. Um, and the next thing that you want to do is grab your texture, which is this one clip that I named it, drag it on here. And what it's going to do is create a material. Now, this is where all the magic happens. So we're going to click on the material. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, drag out of this RGB and type in MF Chroma here. So there you go. That's the item we're looking for. And now I'm going to hit the control key and disconnect this while clicking. Whoops. So, and then just drag it in. Or if it's easier, just click, alt click and get rid of it and drag this into opacity mask okay so right now it looks like it's not working we're going to just click save here for a second to make sure it doesn't um, disappear or whatever I'm going to now go and grab this and dock it up here and I'm going to click alt tab and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my media player play it again I can pause it press record save I should say and now you see it showed up so I, if I don't do that you're like well why does it not show up okay so now what I want to do is this is the main material I want to create an instance so right click create a material instance and you know one clip material instance and what I want to do is drag that one on here and it replaces the other one so you can also click save all you see this little star means it hasn't been saved and I'm going to double click on that and now I have this details panel that is normally docked here and I'm going to undock it I'm going to let it float like this okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to where my project is so like this and I need to go where Give me a second here. I will need to go where this is. Okay. So click, click the key color, click the little selection tool and go like that. Click OK. And what I'm going to do now is let's go back here and you'll see the key has been made. Now, I didn't have to do it with this one, but if ever. I just need to go get my details panel. If it disappears, go back to this, click under tools, go to 
Mm, I think this is where it usually is, but I could be wrong. Your details panel, and you can, you might have to uh, tweak some of it. It was kind of silly. I just closed it and reopened it, and there it was. So um, what I want you to see here is that maybe your key isn't perfect. So one of the things you could do is drag this over to the first person, drop it like this, and if you need to, you can adjust these, okay? And what this will do is it'll adjust your key. So, you know, right now I don't need to do it because the color works great. But one thing you also might want to do is this cropping. I'll show you what happens when I crop this because maybe when you brought in your, your, your clip, there was like some green screen left on the edges or whatever. Now I'm going to put that back to zero because I don't need to do that. But I wanted to show you that that is there. Okay. So now we're ready to set this up in Sequencer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and create a cinematics folder. Cinematics. And again, I'll give this a color like red or something, reddish. And I want to create a, under cinematics a level sequence. So under cinematics, level sequence. And I'll call it one. Let's say it's my first sequence. And what I want to do is going to be a little different if you've done any of this with characters and so on in the past. So I'm going to create a media track. Now, one thing that's different when you're using a green screen, and let's assume that we wanted the whole clip a second here. So the first thing I want to do when I come in here is change this to 24 frames per second film. And I need to figure out how long this is. So I'm going to also go to show times as seconds. So right now this is five seconds. But I need I need to check how long is my clip. So if I go to my media player and you'll see 0 2 to 25. So this is a 25 second clip. And maybe you don't want the whole thing. So you could write 24 or 20 depending on what you want. Uh, and you can always, you know, render out at 25 seconds and in Premiere Pro or whatever, cut it down a little bit. Uh, oops, I didn't want to press that. So over here, I'm going to type uh, in this section, I'm going to write 25, press enter. And I'm going to then drag this so you can see, you know, I, I want to make, and this, this red line is where the clip will cut. So I want to go all the way to 25. And now under my media track, I'm going to go get my clip. And you see here, this is really important. I dragged this all the way to the end, wherever it's supposed to end. And I'm going to bring this to... Now, I'm not yet ready. I still need to do one more thing. So right-click, Properties. You need to go get the texture that you're missing. So for this one, it's Clip 1. And this is the one I put. If you had another one for Clip 2, you go get Clip 2. So there you go. There's my cat. Everything I need looks great. Now, um, I'm going to show how to do uh, the camera in another clip, I think. So let's stop here, get all this set up, and see that, uh, you know, if you press play, is it going to play? If, you know, you can press play here if you want. Yeah, you know, and then in the next one, we're going to do our sequence uh, film. Okay, if you have any other questions, please let me know.